So what is user acceptance testing? This question will be asked in any software testing interviews. So the user acceptance testing will be performed by a business user or an end user. User acceptance testing will be done in the last stage of the testing. This is a last testing which we normally we do after our system testing, regression testing. So the next question is what is the purpose of UAT? So what is the purpose of the user acceptance testing? The main purpose of the user acceptance testing is to test the end to end the business flow. So whatever the, the recommend business requirements we have the end users will test based on their experience based on their knowledge they will try to test all the scenarios from one end to another end to ensure that everything is going to work as expected as defined in the business recommend document so here the testing as i said earlier the testing will be done similar to the production environment and it will have its environment is mimicking the production environment with the similar kind of test data they will be using in their environment and they will try to test complete business requirements from end to end perspective. This is the main purpose of the testing user acceptance testing. So next question why do we need user acceptance testing? The main reason, main reason for doing UIT is to fill the communication gaps because the developers, they develop based on their knowledge, based on their understanding. Again, tester will test the product based on the business requirement. So in case if there is any communication gap, in case if there is any communication gap on collecting the requirement or forming the requirement or using those requirements in implementing it then the user acceptance testing will will really help here because the end user or business user is users will be finally testing the product they can easily find out if there is any gap in the communication in terms of the business requirements or whatever the things which developers implemented or whatever the things tester tested it if there is any gap here then the gap will get filled using user acceptance testing. If okay. I give an example, simple example, if you have a car manufacturing company, if you have a car manufacturing company, when someone is implementing or someone as assembling the car parts, they will be testing within the controlled environment. They will be doing all the tests in the controlled environment, including development, assembling the car, everything. Now, once the car is there, outside of the control environment where real end user real end user means they will be testing the product on the road on the traffic places in all conditions they will be testing to ensure that the car is really working as expected so that is a purpose where real drivers real people are going to test those cars and see everything is working as per the business recommends for that car i hope uh, you guys got an idea why do we really need to do user acceptance testing the next question would be can you explain the uit process can you explain in detail what is all about uit process user acceptance process the first thing is you should get a detailed analysis of the business recommend the first thing we should do is we should understand in detail about a business requirement the second is using those bus business requirements you should be able to define a detailed uit test plan because you should perform a detailed user acceptance testing you should be able to arrive the test plan in a well manner the next thing is you should be able to develop the user acceptance test scenarios. You should be able to arrive or derive the detailed user, detailed test scenarios using these business requirements. 
the fourth is using this you should be able to create the user acceptance test cases once we done the test case creation you should also be able to create the test data because in order to execute the test cases which we just created we need the relevant test data as well you should be able to create those test data as well the next thing is once the test data is available with you we will be getting ready your test environment once your environment is ready then you will be going and executing your uit test cases once you are able to execute your test cases you will be capturing your test results the test results could be passed uh, test results could be failed or any of your observation it, or it could have any other challenges where you will be logging a detailed defect for those executions once everything is done once the, all the testing is done now you will be comparing with your business requirement to the test result to see whatever the business requirement it talks about is our test cases are really working as expected like that or not so this is the overall process for a user acceptance testing